look at the swagger, oh. Look at my swagger, oh. You know all the lickers, just the bad oh. We package, we take it, we drop it, we swipe it, we pop in the bottles now. Nothing can stop me now. Nothing can shake me now. Hi guys, welcome to BNG TV. I'm the Soul of you and yes, I am back. I know you guys missed me. I miss myself. Ooh. Um, today I am here with Casey Posey. Yeah. Hey, make noise. Now I'm just being, I'm being so cheesy. I don't understand. I'm excited to be back. Like, I know you guys missed me. You know, I saw the comments, you know. So now that we're here with you, I, I just, I normally just start with like, you know, get to know each other questions, just easy questions before we get into it. Okay, so what is your actual name? You're not trying to give that out, I know. Casey Posey. Casey, that's it. Okay. <laughs> that's my name, isn't it? I feel like this is going to be a funny interview. Like, I'm just going to be laughing, guys. Like, I'm actually just going to be laughing. Okay, where did the stage name come from? Like, how did you get this Casey Posey? Oh, like, what made a, you decide? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Any good questions? Oh, basically, my name, my nickname is mm -hmm. uh, Casey. Okay. So everyone knows me as Casey, all my friends yeah. from back in the days. Yeah. Then when I'm trying to create my stage name, because mm -hmm. I'm, you know, I'm a poser, you know. Oh, like taking yeah, pictures like, hey. so now I'm a poser, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. Not a snob, but a poser, you get me? Oh, okay. Yeah, so, and Puff, that is my idol. Okay. You know what I mean? So, when I said, okay, I like to be like Puff Daddy, you know, like, I like his style. Like Puff Daddy. Yeah, hey. that's my idea. Yeah, I like to, you know, I like yeah. his style. I want to be like yeah. him, you know what I mean? It would be better than him, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so he's such a poser, you know, his style, yeah, he has style the, you, you know, know what I mean? Yeah. So, and we have, you know, I think we have the same personality. Oh, like you know? as with um, Puff Daddy? Yeah, with Puff Daddy, yeah. Oh, you know how, I mean? how do you guys have the same yeah, thing? Yeah, the like? way, the lifestyle. Yeah, lifestyle, rich, everything. You know, hey. Yeah, everything is just, I just think we're like the same kind of thing. Oh, so, I love it. Like, so he's calling himself, you know, he used to call himself Puff Daddy. Yeah, Puff Daddy. You yeah. know what I mean? So I said, okay, Puff Daddy is like Puff. Yeah. You know what I mean? I said, so I can I make myself like give a name, something like that. I said, okay, but I'm a poser. So Puffy posing is the same mm. thing. So that's why I say posing. You know, so oh, Casey po Posey. Posey. <laughs> yeah, because I don't want to change Casey, so I just keep my po Casey and Posey. add a Posey. Yeah, Ooh, so, Casey Posey. But, yeah. I love it. Okay. I love it. So now to get into your music, how did you get into music? Like, what's the story behind you starting up thinking that, okay, I want to do music? Yeah, um, I always have music inside me when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have time to start early because uh, I had a lot of things doing, you know. I'm a yeah. businessman as well. As a musician, I'm not just a musician, you yeah. know. Yeah, so I've been doing other things, mm -hmm. occupying myself with other things. But I knew I have this, I knew I want to do this, you know. I've been investing into music for a very long time. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to manage some artists, you know, okay. back in the days, you know, uh, got the eye commission. Okay. You know what okay. I mean? Yeah. yeah, so I used to manage them and have a studio even, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, since 2008, you get me? Yeah, so. I've been doing my thing, but not really an artist, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Try to nah. record some stupid songs, you know? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I have that thing in me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, I wanted it, but I don't know how to get it. Yeah. So I feel like I'm single rap or something. But something just came to me, you know, I went away mm -hmm. to Turkey, you know? Mm -hmm. So I decided to isolate myself, for, you know, for a couple of years yeah. from people mm -hmm. for about two mm -hmm. years. Yeah. So I just well, was just by myself writing music and just thinking of uh, you know i want to yeah. change my life i don't like what i'm doing yeah. i'm not happy with with this business with that business mm -hmm. i used to have a mini cap company and different oh, things you know good. yeah so i'm not happy with it so i, I want to do this so i went to i uh, saluted myself from people mm -hmm. so i started learning yeah. by myself how to write music how to like do everything so mm -hmm. for, after two years i've become very fit so mm -hmm. it's okay i'm ready to go i'm ready to start so that's why I came back to London and yeah. you know I started doing my thing. Okay, interesting. That's I only shot one video in in Turkey. Uh, I'm in a my first single was from Turkey. Oh, was okay. a Turkish producer, oh, so okay. called Miguelo. So and I shot a video there. Yeah. So after shooting a the video, everything I came in to release it. Okay. 
Yeah. Then before I met other producers. Okay. That's very, yeah. very interesting. The story behind that is very interesting and inspiring. Okay, so you call yourself King of Afro Trap. Yeah. So for those who don't know, in your words exactly, what is Afro Trap? Afro Trap is the, uh, the, you know, the broken, the pigeon English. We are woke up pi pigeon English. Oh, know? from Nigeria. From Nigeria, okay. like the city where I'm from is called Wari. We the the pigeon English originated from there, so we have this really strong accent. And you know, I mean, so if you yeah. hear me speak, even my English sometimes yeah. when I pronounce, it's really crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have this pigeon English. So I fuse the pigeon into the the trap beat. Okay. I know when I've done it before, so you know, it, uh, you know, I must be honest. You know, it's just a, you know, it's an idea with my producer, Ayo okay. Beat. Yeah, so yeah. it came with the idea actually. Say, so, you know what? Because <coughs> when I met him, everyone was saying that all you have to do is you know, Afro beat. So yeah. I start saying, yo, let's do Afro beat music. But it left me to do my thing. So we record that couples of songs, like about more twenty tracks. Uh -huh. Then later. It came out with this beat and said, you know, can you speak like this? Then I tried it. Mm. I think the first track was uh, Look At Me Now. Yeah, I yeah, don't blow, yeah, yeah. you know. So we tried it with that track and it went yeah. nice. Mm. So we start. You just kept yeah, it yeah, like that. Yeah, we just kept it like That's that. Amazing. So and now, the reason why I call myself the king of Afro oh, trap. That was even my next question. Why do you reckon ah. you're the king? So yeah, okay. why do you reckon you're the king? Yeah, the reason why I call myself, I didn't do it. You know, I just start calling myself the king of Afro trap now. You know, I do it for some since. Um, you know, yeah. I just started it now. You yeah. know, and I just start calling myself. I didn't do it before. You yeah. know what I mean? So the reason why I just you know I see people doing it now. Like yeah. when I started it, no one have yeah, no one no have one been doing, doing it. No one doing, was yeah, doing yeah. it. You know, so yeah. like now whiskey is doing Afro trap. Yeah. Uh, David on new album, we have couples of Afro so trap wait, there. you know what? Because people might be a bit confused. So Afro trap, like, what do you mean? Like, let's say trap music and Afro beat. To yeah, kind of trap music together. and the Afro beat together. Yeah. And sometimes you can we fuse the beat together, oh, okay. or the dialect will be the mm. Afro dialect yeah. on the trap. Yeah. I get what you, you see, mean. Yeah, yeah. like when you listen to "Look at Me Now." Yeah, look at me. That the it's it's all it's all trap beat, no yeah. changes. You know, it's different from uh, the one with Miss Banks, Jungle Yeah, Jungle. Yeah, Jungle yeah. is fused together with the Afro yeah, beat Afro and Afro is, trap. Yeah, like if you listen to it. But "Look at Me Now," I swear, to boy, they're all out uh, trap beat. Uh -huh. But we just fuse the uh, the okay, interesting. The, the uh, how they call it? The broken. The pigeon English. Yeah, you just put it. that. Yeah. Okay, so you feel like you're the king because, you, like, you started. I started it, so uh -huh. yeah, I started the movement. Yeah. And our people are. Cocky. Yeah, I start doing it now, so I'm really happy and I'm really glad yeah. I would go yeah, to Yeah, you, yeah you put so everybody king. on basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how did you get signed to Sony? Like, how did the opportunity come about for you, for them to sign you? Okay, basically, we, uh, I did a song with uh, Miss Banks, mm -hmm. my first, that was my, f it's a, you know, it's a song from, uh, from my first EP, Yeah. my first EP, Who Gave You That? Mm -hmm. And this track is called The Car Keys, Car yeah, Keys, yeah, yeah. okay? So when we released Car Keys video on Link Up and uh, was there, we had a couple of promo, you know what I mean? Yeah. And we got an email from from Sony ATV mm -hmm. and I didn't pay attention yeah because I said oh this is one of the junk yeah you know? like yeah that's because the room? they send this email to my record labor okay. motive entertainment email yeah. so my PA contacted me said oh there's email there from Sony yeah. say they want the like it I said oh, forget about it yeah. so they keep on writing writing almost about two weeks yeah. so they wrote me on my uh, Twitter oh, okay. they DM me on my Twitter and I said oh, this one's serious. Yeah. So I, their number was there. I read the yeah. email. Oh, contact, uh, contact us. We're interested in this song. Please, you know, blah blah blah. It's okay. So I called them. 
I called them and said, oh, what took you so long, yeah. you know, like, we've been waiting to hear from oh. you, we really like this song, yeah. we want to go for it, let's set up a meeting, and say, yeah. oh, damn, really? <laughs> so, because I'm very close to my producer, A.O.B., yeah. mm -hmm. big up to A.O.B., you big know, you up, the up. baddest producer in yeah. town, you know what I mean? So, we decided to, like, so I spoke to A.O.B., we said, wow, this big, you know, let's do it. Yeah. So I set up the meeting and I didn't want to go by myself because mm -hmm. uh, I'm just one year in the game, you know, mm -hmm, yeah, just yeah. one year. So I don't really have any experience. Mm -hmm. so, I, so I say, you'll be, you have to come with me. Yeah. We all went together to the okay, meeting. Okay, so what do you think has changed since you got signed? Like, has it been better or like nothing's really changed or they've helped you a lot? What do you think has changed? Um, I made some, a little bit of error because, uh, you know, like, when you're starting a new business, you don't really know. I'll say, just recently I found out I made a mistake, you know. Oh, yeah. When I sign a song, it, you know, it's a publishing deal, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, it's not yeah. a record deal. Mm -hmm. So when I sign a song, what I'm supposed to do, I should push this song more. Yeah. But I didn't. So I thought that they would just push it by yeah, themselves. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I left it. Oh, okay. So I just, so I ignored the song, I focused on other tracks. If not, yeah. what I would have done, I would have, do a more yeah, promotion, more promo, and yeah. put the song up. Cause what they're doing, they were trying to give uh, give me a record deal, yeah, a single okay, deal yeah. on that very track. Mm. But because I didn't push the track, so the track wasn't yeah, really selling. Wasn't really, yeah. So they just hold it. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So they didn't really. So since then, they've not really done nothing much. Okay, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? But I don't know what they're gonna do because they paid a lot for that. Oh, Yo, yeah. they gave us a lot of advance, you know, on that. Oh, so, okay. so I don't know. But my mistake is, you know, I didn't push it. I would yeah. have pushed this pushed song more. hard, mm -hmm. and I know that yeah. would have been gone. You know, so. Okay, so behind your song that you said, "Look at me now," like what well, I know you've said that is because it's Afro trap. Like, so what made you want to do the remix to it? Look at me now. You asking me the why I come out with look yeah, at me now. Like yeah. why? Okay. Look at me now is is look look at me track. It's a it's a spiritual track. Oh. It's not just uh you know people can hear the vibe, dance to the vibe. Yeah. That's why every time when I perform it, look at me now, I always give them the story a little bit of you know yeah, the story. Tea, mm. so that they will understand yeah. and I wanted to sing with me to claim that blessing. Yeah. Because uh you know, it's such a track that it's not just the music, the beat. It's more about the lyrics mm. and and what you hear, you know. Yeah. So look at me. It's it's part of my life story. Like when I was young, because I came from a very poor family. Yeah. In Africa, mm -hmm. I was born and brought up in Africa in Nigeria. Okay. Very poor family, and I was like, I left my parents when I was fifteen, you know. Okay. Yeah. So I was with my friends, we were just doing our own thing together, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You know, so I always tell my friends, like, when I grow up, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm gonna be a millionaire, I'm gonna go to Europe, I'm gonna do this, gonna be big, gonna be driving these cars, you know. Mm -hmm. They would tell me, no, go away, man, you just, mm -hmm. you know, then we couldn't even eat three square meal, you know. Wow, yeah. We just like eat. eat one time a day and the rest hours you're <laughs> Wow. You're doomed. <laughs> wow. You get me? Yeah, so we That's find so it difficult. This is inspiring. So then we say, uh, you've not finished eating three square meal. You think you're going to buy a uh, Lexus oh. Jeep? Yeah. Are you going to go to Europe? Are you going to get a ticket? Are you going to get a visa? Blah, blah. I say, don't watch me. I'm going to do it. Mm. So finally, I left and everything yeah. changed different, you know what I mean? So. When I start writing this tune, I remember them days. Yeah. I say, so look at me now, don't blow. Back yeah. in the days when I used to tell you that I would be this, I would be that. You said I'm not going to be. Yeah. But look at me now, I'm blonde. Yeah. Oh, you see? That's amazing. That's so inspirational. Yeah. Now I want to ask, like, how did you do it? That, that's what I'm sure everyone's wondering. Okay, so how did you come from that to now who you are and where you are now? Like, what had you so driven and how did it all work out? Ah, uh, because I'm a very passionable person. Mm -hmm. I have a, I have a, the kind of passion I have. There's only few people that have it. Mm. I have, when I want something, I get it. Yeah. I, you know, in my life, I always believe that I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna be 
a million year i'm gonna yeah. make it in life i can't be a poor person yeah. poverty is a disease in my own dictionary you know what i mean so i always like work hard and work myself so so like when i was growing up i just found myself moving i just keep on moving and and i get to where i am yeah. and you know did a lot of things anyway to get okay. to my level okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah. what's the inspiration behind just your song melody like what was the shoot just a short story what's the short story behind that song like, melody yeah 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 uh, melody is a love song you know mm -hmm. actually actually you know i had a girl that i really like yeah, that's even know? my next question <laughs> <laughs> i had a girl that i really yeah. like and and i've been chasing the girl for a long time yeah she you know i finally she, we met, you know what I mean? But after two years chasing the girl, yeah. I saw her on the street. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on the street singing. Uh, oh. She's singing on the street. Oh, okay. She's a musician, she's oh, okay, an artist, yeah, yeah. you know. She's singing, you know, yeah. right? Then I, I saw her, I said, oh. And the music was so good. sick, yeah. good. Yeah. I didn't even think it was her. It's the yeah. music that caught me, you know, like, caught yeah. my attention. I walked up to her, I just turned and I said, oh, this, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't yeah. call her name though, like, yeah, that's I said, oh, that's her. Yeah. I walked up, so I started watching her, then she saw me, she started singing. Oh. Then, that, I feel a vibe, I like the melody. Melody, yeah. So that's why I, so after then, you see, if you watch the video, you see all the acting, that's yeah, what really yeah. happened in real life. So after, and I, wait, I waited for her. Yeah. Took her, okay, I took her, ah, uh, then went for lunch yeah. and that and that, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that was, so I just, it's a true life story. Okay, amazing. Yeah. My next question is, are you planning to like have kids, wife anytime soon? Like a girl, girlfriend? How do you know that I don't have a wife oh. or kids? What? <laughs> what? Scratch his head. Scratch, do you? <laughs> How did you know that? That I don't have a wife or kids, like? You know, I, you have me like, well, there's so many questions running through my head. Are you been investigating me? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised. Okay, anyway, I don't have kids. Yeah. I don't have a wife, okay. you know. But yeah, of course, like, it's, you have to meet the right. I'm a very picky person. Oh. It's so hard. <laughs> it's, for me to, it's so hard to find the right girl because I don't just want to have kids there and there and yeah, there and yeah, there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like a lot of people, Yeah. you know. I want to take my time to find the right one, and it's not easy to find the right woman. It's yeah. easy. To, it's easier to make money than to find the oh, right woman. Oh, preach, preach! Trust me, that's money. It. It's, yes, it's very. It's so easy. It's very easy to make money mm. to find the right woman. To find the right woman for you that to get cool. married to is hard. You can find a lot of girls that you have sex with. You know, like oh, sorry. <laughs> You know, you can find love that you hang out with and do your thing. You're gonna cut that anyway. It's a life. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but you can't find that woman. Yeah, that woman. That woman is hard mm. that you connect with. You know, I don't just wanna jump into marriage or yeah. something. Like, I wanna like have someone that I would. Yeah, like. You know what I mean? Like a best friend, yeah. Yeah, that's it, you know. Okay, amazing. Mm -hmm. So, how did it feel to get nominated for the Nigerian Music Video Awards? Yeah, I. Yeah, um, I feel very, um, very impressed and on uh, on, you know, yeah, because it, I didn't expect it, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah, because I'm just here doing my thing. Yeah. I've not been to Nigeria, just trying doing my thing, and all of a sudden I'm getting all these nominee yeah. uh, nomination and stuff. So really, oh, that's amazing. You know, it was really amazing. Okay, so who would you compare yourself to in this Afrobeats game? Like who? I know at the start you compared yourself to um, Puff Daddy, but obviously he's not Afrobeats. Like Afro trap or Afrobeats, who would you say like, oh yeah, I can compare myself to him or her? Hmm. Nobody really. Yeah, no, I like that. Yeah. You yourself, you're Nobody, on my own lane. Nobody, myself, I'm on my own lane. I answered the question for you, that's amazing. Okay, so um, we've heard that you and Miss Banks are family in a sense yeah so how did the um inspiration or opportunity to work with her on the song car keys yeah because uh, you know as a family you know what yeah. i mean so it was easy to get her yeah. you know, because so many artists would not like to work with 
up and coming up artists. Uh, yeah. Because of the time I did that song, I wasn't really, I was still not, you know. Yeah. So yeah, so because of the family arrangements, so she did. It was, yeah, easy. Yeah, it was easy, like. That's amazing. Yeah. And she didn't do it just because of her family. She did because so she, she, liked knows that she liked it yeah. and she knows that I'm good. Because mm -hmm. she would never put us put her image yeah. in anything that's not good. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I actually so. understand that. Okay, so why is it that you said you don't like interviews? Oh, um, kind of really, I'm getting better. I think I'm getting yeah, better, you, getting more relaxed. You're cause, amazing. Because as you can see, I'm really you're relaxed. You're amazing. But One before, of the best. Yeah, before I really you didn't like don't it. like it because I, I it will escape. I've refused a lot, lot of uh, radio interviews and TV interviews. I don't, you know, like when they call me, I just make an excuse. Because oh. I'm, you know, I'm kind of really nervous. Like, really? Yeah, I'm a very talkative person. Yeah, I love it. You I can talk, talk, I can go talk. crazy. I'm a very crazy yeah. one. But when it comes to interview, like, oh my god. Aww. My first interview with, yeah. that was the beginning of last year. Yeah. It was a lot of artists, you know, a lot of artists, different people, yeah. you know, beautiful girls, <laughs> and all of them just there. So, me, it was my first interview, and I wasn't long in the game, you know, like, it was so everyone was talking, it was my turn to talk, so they called me to come for my interview time, and I, I went there and trying to talk. Yeah. But no way. Like they ask me questions like, I start like, oh, you know, like yeah, that. like I couldn't talk, yeah. you know. I was like, and there's one very beautiful girl, and like, <laughs> <"This is shit." laughs> you know what I mean? Like, listen, I, yeah. after everything here, yeah, I was just. I feel very sorry for myself. Oh, I feel sorry for myself. Yeah. But really, now, like, when they see you now, look at me now, see so you're good now. Yeah, because now I start learning, yeah. try to like, just be myself yeah. when I'm doing this interview. Nah, it's amazing. You know what yeah, I mean? that's, so, so, that's so good. Okay, last two questions. Where do you see yourself in five years? Oh my days, in five years. This question, back in the days, I couldn't really answer this. Mm. But I think I can answer this one now because in five years time, I believe there's no doubt. No doubt, you know, I'm gonna be on top. Mm. I'm not gonna be. I don't think any Afro. You, I don't think you can ever compare any Afrobeat artist to me mm. in five years' time. I'm not just joking, mm. because because I'm the new king, you know. Mm. Hey, shout out to no, you. No, I'm not trying to like pose or something, but but I, I'll say, just get this. This is on tape, you know. I'm the new king. Mm -hmm. I wanna say. Like my second EP is called The New King Is Born. People don't understand why I can't say when I why I call myself The New King Is Born. I'm I'm here to change the game, to mm. take the game to a different level, and be in the Afro beat game mm -hmm. to a different level. And people don't understand yet why I'm here. They say, oh, maybe it's too old to be here in the little. But they don't understand why I'm here. They just think I'm an artist. I'm not just an artist. Yeah. I'm different. I'm different. Yeah. So I'm gonna take it to a different level. You hear of Don Jazzy? Yeah. We're gonna be more than that. Oh. I'm gonna be the pop daddy of Afrobeat. Okay. That is it. Amen. There's no two ways about it. That's mm -hmm. my plans. Yeah. So five years to come, I'm gonna be on top. I love that. You know what I mean? I love that. Okay. Last question. Where can we find you? What's your social media? Your Snapchat? Your Twitter? Where can we find yeah, you? you're gonna find me on everything Casey Posey. Okay. Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. Everything at Casey Posey. K C P O Z Z Y. Amazing. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. And I just wanna use a project to just talk over my little bit of project that okay, coming. No, talk, talk, talk about it. <coughs> talk, you know, Yeah, you, you know, just a little bit. Sorry about that. <laughs> Basically, uh I have a video coming out mm -hmm. January from my uh, new King is born. It's called the Ice Water Boy. Mm -hmm. We didn't even talk about the Ice Water Boy, you know. We should talk about that. Okay. So yeah, it's about the Ice Water Boy video. Mm -hmm. It's coming out soon. It's very, very okay, watch out for bad that, guys, video. Yeah. Watch out for that. And I have my new project, the Ice Water Boy EP episode one. Okay. The EP is dropping February with uh, uh, in a collaboration with a lot of beautiful artists, talented artists dropping soon as well so watch out for that ep you know big up okay well thank you guys can i say now yeah. for watching us um tune in for our next episode bye guys bye guys <laughs>